Well, hello, folks, and welcome to episode 94 of the Kitchen Garden podcast. And I'm here with the KG team in our respective sheds. So, hello, Emma. Hello. Hello, and hi, Tony. Hi, yeah. Well, I'm actually in the, in the conservatory, so I've, I've, um, I'm very posh today. I've moved up from the shed. It's too cold. It is too cold. <laughs> I'm inside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we thought we'd done bath. a flat. <laughs> we're, we're waiting for some terrible weather, aren't we, coming our way this week with snow and goodness knows what else. So we thought, well, we can't sow our seeds. We'll have a quick look through what seeds we're desperate to get sowing. Um, don't know if you have you sown anything yet, anybody? Bit, bit, not really. No, not yet. No. Bit early. I'm, I'm sorry, I have. I, I, Ooh, I can't. Can I can't. I can't. I can't just sit you around. Can't stop, just, can you? I, I can't. I, and um, anyway, I've started what have some you sown? Clara um, aubergines. The little Ooh. white ones. Is there a new oh. new one for this year from uh, Sarah Raven? Oh, very so good. So I pop those in a, a propagator um, with some grow lights, and I've also started some chilies because often you, you need to start those a bit early, don't you? You do so need a nice long season, don't they? There's one wow. chili, one chili That's pepper that I grow every year lately. is called Machu Picchu, and they they come out sort of quite long and brown, and they're just the right level of heat for for my palate. And mm. uh, they they can grow quite big and bushy, and they just produce loads. And we stick loads in the freezer. So yes, I, I'm sorry, but I've made a start on oh. aubergines and chilies, and I'm sorry about this as well. I have snuck in a few tomatoes as well. I just crazy. no, you devil, you devil. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. I've got um, not for a few oh, yeah. salad leaves, but they're looking a bit pathetic. It's been so cold outside. They're in. They're on a, a yeah. Some some mixed mixed salad leaves. Yeah. And the, and, um, Good King Henry. I've, I'm trying that Ooh. this year. I've sown. I've sown a few of those, but mm. um, they're under lights in the with, with an heated bench. Now I have put a few things in, but they they are looking a bit sad because mine are out in the greenhouse, and that's the only heat they've got is a. A little soil mm. warming table, so it sort of varies from two degrees to ten degrees, depending yeah. on what the weather is outside. Yeah, it's <laughs> so up and down, isn't it? Gosh. Well, yeah. My seeds are well and truly in their packets, safe yeah. and sound in their actually, packets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you got there? Then, then look, I've got, I've got very summery. my favourites. I've got my favourites: tomato sun gold. Yeah. And then I've got tomato honeycomb, which is very, very, Ooh. very similar. I haven't, can't say yeah. I can tell the difference particularly, but um, mm. but I think the honeycomb one um, doesn't seem to split as much. I think because the, the, yeah. the sun gold do split later in the in the season. I yeah. find they're quite straggly plants, aren't they? The sun gold, and I straggly. Find. Yeah, I think honeycomb is mean, very... slightly better. I think, yeah, that sense. yeah. yeah I agree. Yeah, I agree. It last year. And you say very sweet, isn't it? It's lovely. Mm. Just to keep straight off the plant. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. I've got I've gone a bit overboard on my tomatoes. Having said I wouldn't grow too Again. many. I've got <laughs> loads. <laughs> <laughs> loads here. There's a nice There's beef steak there, is there? Oh, oh yeah, there? I'm trying to concentrate on beef steaks. I can't pronounce half the names, but I've got Cordebui. Cordebui. Oh. Oh yeah. That's very that's a meaty one. Mm. That's a meaty one. I've grown it before. It's really nice in soup and uh, passata and all that stuff. I've got another one called Summer Last, which I think is a new oh. one. Steve, I've, I've from... got that one as well. Oh, yeah. It's the yeah, King's it's a King's one. Pa- it's a patio one, isn't it? Oh, that's right. Yeah, a patio tomato bred to last for much longer in the garden, it says. Yeah. Bl- yeah. Uh, some, some blight resistance, I think. Oh, Ooh, you get cool. any spare? You get any spare plants? Oh yeah, it says, it, it says oh, built in. What's growth size? So that looks. That's a new one, isn't it? I've seen that one before. Oh, and I've got um, Cherokee purple, which I don't think is Ooh. new. It's sort of heritage, isn't it? Not a picture packet, right. unfortunately, but oh, yeah, right. Cherokee okay. purple. One of the sweetest beefsteak tomatoes, it says. So I should hold them there. That's um, Garden Organic, that one. 
Yeah. Or going at gardening catalogue, sorry, I should say. Yes, yeah. Well, I've got yeah. um, one from there as well. It's um, called Dora F1. And Ooh, they're, not, um, they're little cherries, but they're cherry tomatoes, but they're, they're kind of heart shaped. So I'm quite intrigued to oh, see how they, what they taste like, actually. But uh, they're, they're from the organic garden catalogue as well. But um, I was just uh, like the look of them. They're just sort of kind of pointed end, like a, like a little oh. heart shape. Well, once again, if you get any extra plants, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's getting them, gonna, it's getting them across the country. Able, are we going to be able to get together to exchange plants this year? <laughs> oh, who knows? Well, it, who knows? It'll have, like, have to be like a drugs drop, won't it? You know, you have to sort of yeah. put them at the end of a street <laughs> and then <laughs> leave the step well back. Oh, and let the other person go, like. I've left Look. them by the bin in the, par <laughs> in the park. <laughs> you sound like you've had some experience of this sort of thing. <laughs> well we'll take your word for that yes <laughs> <laughs> what, what about comment. um what about lettuces and stuff you've mentioned something oh, Steve. oh yeah i've got, oh, I've, got, loads I've, got of those, yeah. I've got some mi mixed salad leaves sort of thing i've got one oh, like that it, it's, all, it's all backwards on here but it's it's native british leaves Oh, oh yeah, that's the, is that the forager yeah. one, is it? It's a forager mix, an urban yeah. forager mix, and it's got things in it like um, chicory, salad burnet, fennel, mallow, garlic yeah. mustard, and sheep sorrel. Yeah. So oh. Things, you know, yeah. quite unusual, yeah. you know, things yeah. we don't often get hold of. Yeah, yeah. yeah sounds good. They're very on trend, foraging. Oh. And, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I've got... Um, I've got a lettuce I've not grown before called Ocus, which is a nice oh, yes. red nice one. Deep red. Lovely colour. Yeah. Really deep mm. red, yeah. That'd look nice in a border, wouldn't it? With the flowers or yeah. as an edging or something. Uh, what else have I got? I got um oh Valvine, which is one I grew before, sort of um romaine type lettuce, mm. which is lovely last year, really crunchy. So I'm growing that again. Uh, what else? Oh, I've got um New as well. I think it's new. Sarah Raven, Azuna, um, Red Knight. Oh yeah, I've got one of those. They look nice. That. They look. Yeah. Yeah, got nice red leaves, dark red leaves, which should look nice yeah. on the plot. Uh, oh, I'm from Rob Smith, um, which is Dobie's Dobie's range, Bronze Beauty lettuce. So I'm, I'm really going. I've gone red this year, haven't I? Yeah, I've I've got one of those from uh, Rob Smith range as well. It's called. It's a heritage one. It's called Speckled Trout. And oh. uh, if you look at it, it looks like somebody's just splattered paints all over the leaves, but it's sort of quite, quite another one, quite, quite attractive on the plot along yeah. with other varieties. So yeah, I'm interested in uh, oh. trying that one. Yeah, and I've got, I've got, uh, I've got the other I've one got... I've got for, oh. sorry, just, uh, sorry. just uh, yeah. I've got a garlic kale. So it's, uh, it's one that is from Sutton's. And um, it's kale, but it, apparently it tastes a little bit like garlic. So I'm quite interested in Ooh, trying that in cool. salads. That'd be interesting. So that's, a, that's a new one, I think, this year as well from, from Sutton's, that one. Sorry, Em, what are you saying? No, I was just going to say I've got watercress aqua from Sutton's as well. Oh, yeah. Because I oh, do yeah. like watercress. It's a good one to grow if you like watercress because, you know, it needs to yeah. have plenty of water on it, but, it, but it's a bit easier to grow. Uh, you just mm. grow it like a normal salad leaf, and that's very nice. Mm. You can never yeah. get good water less from water less water crest from the supermarket, can you? It's always rubbish. It's always yeah, it's limp and it doesn't last long, does it? Mm. No, no. Yeah, that's that's lovely. I've I've been I, lucky I, enough to get some seeds from the Heritage Seed Library this year, which is from the um, you have to have to join to get them, um, but it's some unusual varieties. So I've got uh, another lettuce, um, bronze arrow. Mm. Um, and I'm going to try melons. I'm, I'm hopeless with melons. Never grown a good melon in my life. But I'm going to have a go with this one. It's called Green Nutmeg, which is another Ooh. heritage variety, which is supposed to have lovely flavour. But the one I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying is actually a dwarf French bean. It's called oh, Ernie's yeah. Big Eye. Ernie's Sorry. Big Eye. <laughs> <laughs> they have some great names, these, don't they? Great they do, name. There must be yeah, a story yeah. beyond that. I can feel it in the packet. There's only about 
six seeds, I think. So I'll probably have to grow them the first year just for the seeds. And then yeah. Yeah. the idea cool. is that you, we grow them, give some back to the Heritage Seed Library for other people, and then grow the rest on as a crop yourself. So, yeah, looking forward to that one. And he's big eye. Ooh. Excellent. I've got a couple of uh, herbs I'm growing, which are different this year. One's called slow boat, the coriander. And uh, as the name suggests, you know, with coriander, you can, you can, they can bolt, can't they, quite quickly. Mm -hmm. So these are slow bolt, so hopefully they, they won't bolt so fast. And um, I've also got an everleaf, I think it's called, uh, tower, basil. You actually grow it as a tower. I'm just trying to find it now, I've lost it. But, you know, it's quite interesting. It's sort of, um, oh yeah, there it is. Everla everleaf emerald towers and you actually grow it in a, in a tower form so that's going to be a, a different one to try this year yeah basil it's from dobies it's basil everleaf emerald towers if anybody's interested so see what that comes yeah. out like yeah, yeah i've good got good. Uh, again i've got one called lemon a lemon coriander which mm. i think's got a slightly um obviously citrusy kind of note to the flavor so that'll mm -hmm. be quite interesting to yeah. try yeah. Lots yeah. of flavours and yeah. textures and tastes. Yeah, very much. Yeah. I've got a few squashes and things to grow. Um, oh, yeah. Heritage mostly. So I've got um, a squash. I always want to call it Port Merion, but it's it's Potty Marin. No picture, but it's, <laughs> yeah. you know it, I'm sure. A set of her lovely heritage squash. one. Yeah, yeah. So I'm hoping to... I'm wondering if I could grow how big they, they are. Perhaps I could grow them up, up a trellis or over an yeah, arch or something i think i did that one yeah, yeah yeah and they're very small fruit you know they're small fruits they're only sort oh, of right. you know well you literally hold them into yeah you know cut them up in a hand in a hand two hands um, yeah which is nice that size really to eat you know yeah yeah you can roast, right. the, roast them whole oh that'd be good yeah well yeah. i love your recipe emma you have to yeah. send me your recipe for that yeah. and I've, I've i tried i'm gonna grow cucumber melons again I tried them a yeah. few years ago, I wasn't sure about them. They seemed a bit tough skinned, but everybody else seems to like them. So have you grown them? I've never grown yeah, them. I have, yeah. yeah. But I I found the skins a bit tough, but I don't know whether you say lack of water or something, but Yeah, maybe that's it. Perhaps I didn't pick them young enough as well. Yeah. Um, um, but um yeah, but they everybody's kept sort of saying, well, you cut them in half like grapes and throw them in a salad, so I'm going to give those a go again, and they're only little plants, aren't they? So yeah, they, grow a lot those of fruit. Get, they get a lot of fruit on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. tiny plants like those are fruit. So yeah, giving those a go. And I've grown some carrots as well this year. So I've grown one I've grown before, um, sugar snacks. It's a sort of long, skinny carrot, which is lovely for um, well buckets because we've got a feature yeah. coming up on um, where we well. In, in the April um, issue, I'm showing you that I'm growing some, I'm taking, oh, well, I'm copying Emma's idea, to be quite honest, for bucket for a bucket garden. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to sow some of those in a bucket. We've got a good um, video on YouTube of that as well, haven't we? Bucket gardens. Yeah. They're just a simple way of growing and a cheap way of um, growing veg on a patio if you haven't got a lot of room. But that one's ideal. And Sweet Candle, which one I've often seen at shows, the carrot you often see on a show bench because yeah. it's got a lovely shape to it, isn't it? But um, I don't think mine are ever going to win a red card, but I'll uh, have a go with those as well this year. <laughs> mm. Oh, we've got a lot going on, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. We just need to get some nice weather so we can sow them. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Or, or, yeah. or Tony completely ignores that and just gets on with it. <laughs> It does, yeah. I mean, let's face it, we can't really afford to wait, can we, in a way? Um, uh, with our, with our, uh, our weather. Oh, well, interesting stuff, guys. But, uh, nice to chat to you again. It's always <laughs> lovely to do these podcasts just to see a, fr a face, <laughs> a friendly face, and have a chat. Yeah. We'll have to chat when we've started to grow this stuff and see how we're getting on. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. follow-up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we'll have to do that. And we'll do some videos as well through the season and um, post those on our YouTube channel. 
Okay, folks. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this podcast. Um, we've got some others coming up as well. Some exciting, exciting news. We've got a podcast uh, coming up with Francis Tophill very soon, and another one with Martin Fish. Regular readers will know Martin. Um, he's a regular writer for us. He does our undercover column and various other columns for us as well in the magazine. So don't miss those. Um, and don't forget as well to go to uh, the website um, www.classicmagazines.co.uk. I've uh, got some great subscription offers. Um, so have a look there. Take out a subscription and you won't miss a single issue. Um, and don't forget to visit the website as well, www.kitchengarden.co.uk. Got lots on there for you, lots more news and views on kitchen gardening. Um, and, of course, our Facebook channel as well, Facebook and Instagram. Um, we're everywhere. In fact, we're all over the internet, aren't we, guys? So you can't miss us. <laughs> so do look out for us there. And we'll be back again. Um, very soon with another podcast, another roundup of what we're getting on, um, getting on within the garden. So thanks for listening. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed this video, press the like button and also give us a comment. Let us know what you're doing in the garden at the moment. And if you like our videos generally, it'd be really great if you'd subscribe to our YouTube channel.